Hello folks, welcome back. In this lecture we are going to see how we can integrate sonar cube with Jenkins. To integrate sonar cube with Jenkins, we need to set up sonar scanner on our Jenkins system. For that we should download it. Then update sonar scanner properties with our sonar cube server details. Then install sonar scanner plugin on Jenkins console. Then configure sonar scanner and sonar server. Execute a job. These are the steps we should follow. I have updated same steps in our GitHub article. Let's go and check it out. This is GitHub account which we are using for this project. It is github.com slash yankills. We go to simple DevOps project. Here we have sonar cube and sonar integration with Jenkins. To integrate sonar cube with Jenkins, we need sonar cube server as well as Jenkins server. We have these two servers. Come to implementation, we need to download sonar scanner and update sonar cube properties file with our sonar cube server. Then log into Jenkins GUI, install sonar cube scanner plugin and set up global tool configuration. Then we need to configure our sonar cube server. Once it is done, we are going to execute a Jenkins job to check out how the sonar cube scanner is working. Let's jump into our AWS console. This is our AWS console. Sonar cube and Jenkins server both are running state. Let's take the Jenkins server IP and connect it. Now I am in my Jenkins server. Let me become root. Now first we need to download sonar cube scanner. For that, let's go to browser, Google, Sonar Cube Scanner, analyzing with Sonar Cube Scanner. Let's click over here. Ours is Linux system. So let's copy this URL. Go to server. Go inside to OPT. Currently under OPT, we have only Maven, which we installed some time back. Now I am going to download wget and download sonar scanner. Sonar scanner has been downloaded. ls unzip sonar scanner. Okay, unzip is not installed. m install unzip minus y. Clear the screen. ls unzip sonar scanner right it's done i'm renaming this as a just a sonar scanner clear the screen ls go inside to sonar scanner here we have a conf directory under conf again we have sonar scanner properties if you remember we were having sonar dot properties file in our sonar cube server Similar way, we have sonar scanner properties file. In this file, we need to specify our sonar cube server IP address. Let me edit it VA sonar scanner dot properties and uncomment this. And we don't have local host. Let me give the private IP address of our sonar cube server. Going back again, sonar cube server. Let me take the private because all are in the same VPC. It can connect with private IP addresses. Okay, I have given private IP address and port number is 9000, nothing to change. Let's save this. Let's jump into Jenkins console and install Sonar plugin. Let's take the IP address of our Jenkins server. Go to new tab and provide. 8080 is the port number. Username is admin. I am giving password. Right, we logged into Jenkins console. Let's go and install Sonar Scanner plugin. Go to Manage Jenkins. And uh, Manage Plugins. Available. search for sonar you can see sonar cube scanner yes this is the plugin we need 
let's install without restart okay it is installed go back to Jenkins again manage Jenkins this time we are going to global tool configuration let's add sonar cube scanner and sonar cube scanner name we can give anything sonar cube scanner name I am giving as a sonar scanner we are disabling install automatically because we have already installed now where it has been installed it is installed under opt slash sonar scanner this is the path where we have set up our sonar scanner apply save next thing is we need to set up our sonar cube server for that let's go to configure systems under configure systems if you scroll down there is a option called sonar cube server add sonar cube here I am going to give the sonar cube name sonar cube server you can give any name next thing is server URL let's get the server URL go back to our AWS console this is our sonar cube server IP address IP address colon 9000 slash sonar this is our sonar cube server we have already logged in because uh, as part of our previous video we just logged in let's take the URL of sonar cube server copy here remove the projects because we don't require that next thing is server authentication token we need to generate an authentication token to communicate with our sonar cube server let's go back to sonar cube console go to administrator this is our account we have logged in as administrator my account and uh, security under security we have option to generate it let's give some name sonar admin generate it this is the authentication code which you need to copy I have taken this and copy it over here that's it save it all right we have configured required steps to integrate our sonar cube with Jenkins let's execute your job in the next video